Lawmakers are scaling back spending plans because the state is facing an unexpected budget hole of nearly half a billion dollars over the next two years. Fox 47's Susan L. Curry dug deeper to find out what areas could be on the chopping block. After months of banking on a budget surplus, lawmakers are now dealing with less money than expected. The economy is still growing. It just isn't growing as fast as we projected. This year, it's adding up to a nearly $200 million revenue shortfall. Combine that with the fiscal year starting in October, and it's almost half a billion dollars less than earlier estimates. We're going to be able to live within that, still make good strategic investments, including in education, and move forward. We're just not going to be able to invest as much as we were hoping. State Budget Director John Roberts pins it on lower sales and corporate tax revenues. But all that means is lawmakers will have to make cuts to programs they thought they could add to. My hope is that we can uh, continue some of the big initiatives that we've been trying to uh, solve. The extra strain comes as lawmakers are trying to find tens of millions of dollars to help the Detroit public schools and fix Flint's contaminated water. Things Rep Sam Singh tells me need to stay priorities. If you don't spend the money now, it's just going to cost you so much more down the road. He doesn't want that to come at the cost of fixing the state's crumbling roads, so he's looking at other departments. There are probably some savings within the corrections areas. I think there are some tax credits uh, that we've been giving out that aren't really creating new jobs. The budget director tells me cuts could likely come to programs Governor Snyder was asking for spending increases in. That could include state police, higher education, and roads. Education, Flint, DPS, and others will continue to be you know top priorities, and I and I would see those making it through the budget. In Lansing, Susan. Susan L. Corey, Fox 47 News. The budget director says he doesn't see this as being a big setback and he expects the budget to be finalized by June. Lawmakers attributed the sales tax revenues being lower than expected to gas prices, which could mean less money for roads. They were hoping to throw part of the surplus at roads, but the surplus is much smaller than expected and the state needs money for the Flint water crisis and Detroit schools. 